Good. So Derek and Shalisa, hi, you're on yeah. with uh, RHAP. Um, I'm really, really sad to see you guys go. Um, <laughs> Us too. <laughs> honestly, one of the funniest teams I think I've seen on Amazing Race in many, many seasons. Oh, oh shit. There you go. That's good. We weren't trying to be funny. <laughs> I think, it's, I think it's just in the way you talk to each other. You had such a great dynamic. You're really never afraid to say what was on your mind to each other. Absolutely. More so not. coming from her, right? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? If, if if you don't have honesty, what do you have? That's very true. It's and it's, and, 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 yeah. and and I'm not fake, so <laughs> definitely not. Definitely not. <laughs> she she um, could use a filter, though, right? <laughs> no, I think, the, I think the lack of filter is what makes it special, honestly. Absolutely. Thank you. <laughs> so the two of you have been together for years and years. Was there anything that you um, learned about each other while you were on the race? Or how is your relationship different? I don't think our relationship is different. I think it's it's validated a lot of things. I mean, you know, I, when I became a police officer, she didn't want me to do it. And then she became one. And then she excelled and went up the ranks. So, you know... We go on the show, don't know what you're going to have to do. And she did very well on everything that she did. So it just shows that, I mean, I knew the woman that I married was a strong woman. She showed that for millions of Americans now. And for Derek, uh, you know, he doesn't have the best patience in the world. But on the show, he he definitely, well, it, it may not have translated. But <laughs> I knew that, you know, that that he definitely had more patience. Than, than I've seen in a very long time. Uh, so I think I was uh, most proud of the fact that that he never gave up and, you know, and he listened for the most part. <laughs> and I wish I wouldn't have listened on the Bolero thing. I wish I would. We stuck to our guns and rode the bike. I, that's the only thing I wish. That's my regret right there. Well, that was the, that's the one thing, right? That's, wow. that's always the one thing, huh? <laughs> Well, I mean, I, I look at I look at the Amazing Race as an experience. Let's try something different. We we have a bike at home. I, riding a bike is boring. It's like I was like, to, "What the hell is a bolero?" That, that's, that's stupid. Play the game. Oh, use your strengths. Let's try something that we can't even pronounce. Yes. <laughs> let's well, see how this works out. <laughs> how long were you there before you decided to try to switch? Now that because uh, you know when you're when you're racing, time time becomes like it. it, it it, irrelevant um so I've never I never looked at my watch I don't know what time we got there I don't know what time we left all I know is that panic set in when Yvonne and Melissa left because we got there when they were still there so I was like oh my gosh we're, we're still in it so we can just get this real quick we'll be done and uh so when they got it and we did not I was like you know what it's time to switch which is one thing we said we would never do. And, you know, we had a little game plan and we did. And then, um, and even though the Bolero was physical, you know, we should have stuck to, to, to what we knew, which is the bike. bike. We got to tell us. So I think, I think, I think after, <laughs> I think after they left, I think we, we went through it two more times and then. She yeah. Like, so we probably go. did maybe four rounds total. Um, but I mean, it could have been, I, I, to me, I, I can't even put a time on it. But I don't think it was that long. But it wasn't that long. Um, but it just felt like it, the especially pressure. yeah, the pressure mm -hmm. of being the only one there, the last one there. And it's like, okay, well, I'm not sure how much longer this is gonna take. So let's do something that we know is physical and that 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 we can definitely achieve and get through. So that's when we decided to switch. Mm -hmm. And it, it's it seems or like I, you didn't. <laughs> I decided to switch. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> So it didn't seem like it took you that long on the bikes once you got there. Correct. It 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 definitely did not. Yeah, we just you know swapped off. Even that though, work. Even though Derek did cheat and leave a bottle in there for me, he, he was supposed <laughs> to finish that bottle. I was supposed to start with a fresh one, but <laughs> so that's why I was like, you cheated. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, so once once that was done, and then you know we um, went went to the next um, uh, roadblock, and um, yeah, and then. That was mm -hmm. basically our demise. Now, one thing that I'm really curious about is like the number one thing that people in our Facebook group wanted to know was, did you end up doing a second detour? Because they didn't show it at all. 
No, no, no. we did because not. Because we were that far behind. <laughs> we were, yeah. yeah, we were far enough behind that I think um, all the teams had made it to the mat. And so they said, yeah, just just go see Phil. But, you know, for the record, Phil being, did, no, but be, being, being ex-cops, we would have killed that fingerprint thing. Oh, mm. yeah. We saw it. Finally, finally something... <laughs> Finally, something that's in our wheelhouse. <laughs> Ricky Caesar did everything, and finally, something's in our wheelhouse that we don't get a chance. And to we do don't it. get a chance to do it. So, but you know, Phil didn't come have to get us. So, well, that's <laughs> that's something you did get to go to the mat. Yes, yes we got yes. to go to the mat. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it kills me that nobody did the other detour. It looked fun. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I know. I was like, oh my gosh, I wanted to do that. <laughs> we haven't fingerprinted in years. <laughs> So tell me a little bit more about your relationship with the Amazing Race. Like, were you big fans before you came on the show, or how did you end up deciding that you wanted to do this? Yes. Yeah, so, uh, well, I, I, if I talk too long, just tell oh, me. Yeah. No, 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 no such thing. <laughs> I can, I can. Yeah. Get no, because my stories, I like to paint. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I want to see the, I want to see the whole picture. Yeah, the whole picture. So you know, we started off with our our interview. Um, got to get to the beginning before that, baby. Oh, right. So my my niece uh, is a super fan. She's she's uh, she lives in Wisconsin. She came here to visit. We go to a Dodger game. We interact like we you know always do. And she's like, oh my gosh, you guys would be great on the Amazing Race. We're like, oh okay, I've heard of it, but we never watched it. And uh, so we come back. There's like, you know what? I'm gonna apply. I said, okay, sounds good. So he, we apply. We do our interview. First thing out of his mouth is like, we've been watching this show for years. <laughs> and I go, and of course, you know, I have no filter. I can't control, you know, I, I don't control my facial expressions. And I'm like, I said, he lying. We have maybe seen one episode in the last 25 years. But if we're selected, we'll definitely become super fans. <laughs> and so then come to find out my sister's a super fan. His mom's a super fan. <laughs> And then, uh, you know, so we go through the process and then we're like, oh my gosh, we don't have any strategy. We have to binge watch. So we literally binge watch from season one and caught up until, you know, I think 34 is, is what we binge watched up to. So you have a lot of family members who are super fans. Clearly, like, I, I don't know, the, the Amazing Grace boat just missed you. Yes. <laughs> well, I mean, life happens. I mean, work and stuff. So you don't yeah. have time to really watch television, you know family and stuff so that was and, i wish we would have watched it <laughs> <laughs> i mean i watch it because it's my job but right. <laughs> i i'm curious to know if your super fan family members and loved ones like what have they thought of this did they have any advice for you beforehand and have they been have they been in your dms with like uh telling you that they would have done things differently or how has that been for you you know they've been supportive we had we had most of them here for our um for premier our party. premier party um, their big thing was don't embarrass us. You better not be the first team don't eliminated. Just one bounced out. <laughs> um, you know, so sort of that sort of stuff. You know, like it, it was, it was. They aren't as the people that we're talking about aren't as athletic as 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 we are. So they couldn't give us any point of views on that. They told me I need to brush up on my dancing because I can't dance. She's a <laughs> puzzle person, so you know, they were cringing on some of the things you know that we may have to do. I think the biggest thing was we got most of our text max messages last night. Why did you not choose the bike? You ride a Peloton <laughs> almost every day. And they're like, no bike? Like, what are you guys doing? Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't know. We don't know. We got caught up. In it. <laughs> we got caught up. <laughs> yeah, it's hard. It's it's very easy to armchair quarterback, I know. Um, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think is the most surprising thing about the amazing race that somebody that watches the show wouldn't know for me you know it's like you, said, you talk about the money morning quarterback it's it is stressful because not only for my lens you don't want to embarrass yourself you don't want to embarrass your family when you when you tear open and this detour and what it says it's I didn't have enough insight to decipher what I was really going to be doing. So you're really jumping in blind. And once you're committed, you're committed. So for me, that's what it was. And for me, binge watching it, I talk so much trash. <laughs> like, oh, how did they not see that? You know, because when they present it on television, 
you know, Phil tells, tells the audience what it is, what you have to do, you know, but when you're the contestant, you don't know all of that information. So when watching it, I was like, how did they not know that? How did they not figure out that puzzle? Well, now I know how they didn't figure it out. How <laughs> are they, it's difficult. <laughs> how are they lost? But, how are they lost, but, right? You know, I think the little things like the, the enunciation of words, like we're in a foreign country and I'll just use like cinquenta, for example. Mm. So she'll say, turn right on cinquenta. So I'm, I'm looking for a sign that starts with an S, not necessarily a C. Mm -hmm. So things like that are very, very important. You know, I wish y'all, take another language and, and prepare yourself to go on the amazing race. That's another one. Yeah. And then with the, with the map situation, you know, I'm looking down and telling him, okay, these are the streets. Well, I'm not looking up, so I can't tell him, you know, if he, he's about to pass a street up or it's coming up because I'm focused on the map. And like you said, I, I'm pronouncing it, you know, trying to do it in Spanish and it's not translating. And then he's, you know, passing the street. And then I don't know it until I'm like, okay, we're lost again. Let's, let's regroup. So I think, you know, I, I mean, I, I don't know how we could have fixed that besides learning uh, Spanish a little bit better. <laughs> well, it, it seems like a lot of teams this season were either native Spanish speakers or had studied Spanish. And I think that puts you at a disadvantage to begin with, but how could you know? You don't know where you're going. Exactly. You don't know where you're going. Correct. <laughs> well, is there anything else that you would want the people at home to know about your experience on the race? I think for, for me, it was, a, it was, it's a process, you know, I think, you know, millions of people watch the show. Then you go through the selection process, which is just like going through a police uh, background. Um, and then you get selected. I mean, we met some great people out there, but if you're going to do it, play the game and, and, and play the game, you know, don't get, don't get caught up in, I'm just happy to be here. If you're competitive, then, then, then go through it, but you have to be locked in. You have to be locked in for, for the three weeks to four weeks, whatever it takes. And you have to have a strategy. You've got to really enjoy the person you're traveling with, mm -hmm. because I look at guys like uh, the pilots, um, Juan and Caesar, Juan and, uh, Juan, Juan and Shane. You know, I'm 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 in a room with my wife. This is pretty cool. We're in a hotel. We're chilling. <laughs> but to be with your buddy, it's like, man, I'm I'm tired of you right now. Yeah, but being, being sequestered, you know, in, in in the hotel room, you know, takes it to a totally different level of you know learning about each other. Um, but for me, I think um, I would like people to know that it is they make you earn that million dollars. Oh. <laughs> it is not easy. I mean, it may appear to be, you know. When you're watching it and you're sitting in the comforts of your living room saying, oh, I would have done this and that. Yeah, you say that. But when you're actually in the moment, it's it's definitely it was a lot more difficult than I would have ever imagined. Yeah, it it never quite translates. It just looks fun, I think. Yeah, it looks fun. Yeah. Like you're traveling to all <laughs> these countries. I didn't even remember going to one country and I'm like, oh. <laughs> Oh wow, we we did go there, you know, because you're you're constantly, you know, running. You're trying not to be last. You know, you're you're locked in. You're focused. You really don't get the opportunity to take in the beauty of the country that that you you know visited. The the best moment for me, I don't know about for you, was after we climbed that that uh, rock in uh, Colombia. Colombia, sitting on that boat was just like, oh wow, this was nice. I could chill until I saw. Shane and Juan boat just flying up on us. That's what I'm like. like oh my God! You know, so, relax so mode to race mode again. We went all the way up there, and then we're looking back, and then all of a sudden it was like, "What's that? What's the distance? Oh, that's a boat. Oh, that boat's coming fast. Oh, that boat's about to pass us." <laughs> <laughs> and then it's like, oh, you know. So there goes the relax. The one moment that we wanted to take in and relax went away in an instant because it's like yeah it was a quick reminder that you're racing yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well I've, I've had so much fun watching you i'm really like i'm i'm low-key devastated that i'm not going to get to see you on the screen next week and we've really <laughs> appreciated you. really appreciated having the time to talk to you today so please don't be strangers um we'd love to talk to you again at some point okay thanks a lot all right nice meeting Bye. you